Hello guys, welcome to my channel Journey to the World of Fairy Tales. Here is this week's tale, the Pied Piper of Hamelin. Come on then, let's get started right away. Once upon a time, in Germany, a distant country, people live in the city of Hamelin happily, respecting each other and treating each other tolerantly. But after a long time, unfortunately, everything started not to be same as before. Maybe because of the new people, or because people doesn't respect to tolerate each other as much as they used to, they started to pollute the city. People were throwing their garbage and everything on the streets. And guys, when this is the case, that's it. When everyone throws everything and their garbage on the street, the environment gets dirty and polluted. And unfortunately, this city becomes uninhabitable. And of course, what happens where there is garbage, what animals would come out? This town has been taken over by a swarm of rats. Lots of rats came to town. They were working in the cellars. They were breaking into people's houses. They were eating their foods unbelievably. And the people couldn't find a cure. For example, people look when they come home. They forget a slice of cheese, as you can see. And they see a mouse eating that cheese. They open the jars. They open everything. And they find unbelievable. And anyway, that the place is full of rats. Anyway, in the end, they get fed up and don't know what to do. All the people in the city get together. Where do they go? Of course, to the person who runs the city, the major. And guys, the people appear before the major and says, they ask him how to get rid of the rats. The major, of course, doesn't know how to find a solution to this in the first place. He research and thinks about it a little bit, but he can't find a solution. Finally decides, if I give a reward, maybe someone will come and save us from these rats so that our city will be cleaned up. And he decides if anyone saves the city from rats, he will give a whole bag of gold. One day he goes out and says, The beautiful people of our city, you know, we're dealing with the rat, but we can find a solution. I will give such a bag of gold. Anyone save us from these rats, we don't know what to do. Everyone looks around, no one stands up. Anyway, at that moment, something very interesting happens. Suddenly, a stranger arrives. What kind of person is the stranger? He is a strange man with a very strange outfit, colorful dress, with a mustache, a strange hat, and pipe in his hand. He has never been to this city before. He is a strange man whom no one knows, and he is the man who comes down and stands in front of the town hall. And I will do it! <laughs> really? Can you do it? Who are you? I am someone who removes harmful animals from all countries and all towns and helps the townspeople. Only I can save you from these rats. Then he looks around. He's actually very funny man. Do you see his hat? He's ridiculous and such a strange man. Anyway, everyone asks the same question. Who is it? Who is this man? Hmm. Who is it? Who is this man? Um, don't worry, tell me about the bag of gold. Of course we will. Then, look, I have a pipe. Can you see? Here, when I play this pipe, I will take all these rats from the here. <gasps> How can this be? Then I have to go, go to work. And the man takes his pipe and starts playing. Suddenly, such music heard. It's an incredible sound of music, such amazing and fascinating music. The piper continues to play his pipe like this, and everyone looks mad. The man will do. Do you know what happens all of a sudden? All the rats around start to appear. The piper plays his pipe, and the rats start walking after him. Meanwhile, the music continues to be played. The piper plays and rats follow after him, getting farther and farther and farther. When the piper comes to a river, the rats have gone a long way. Right here, 
Here is a river, as you can see. The rats, of course, can't stand the sound of the magical pipe, and they come after the pipe and get away, guys. Rats come to river, and what does Piper do? He climbs on rock you see over there, and these rats keep to walking and plop into the water. Jump, jump. So in turn, all the rats fall into the river. Thus, the Piper fulfills his duty, and where does he go to get a bag of gold? He goes to the major immediately. Meanwhile, everyone is really happy. Thank you, thank you very much. Rats are gone. We can't believe. Wonderful, wonderful. Anyway, everything is fine now. The Piper who comes to Major says, Yes, I completed my mission now. Please give me my money, my gold, as you promised. The Major thinks, We're already saved. We got rid of the rats. Why should I give him a bag of gold? I will only give you a one gold. What? I don't understand. You had promised me if I saved you from the rats, you would give me a bag of gold. No. We're giving up now, and now the rats are gone, the problem is over, so we have nothing to do with you. Guys, the paper gets very angry. He leaves in anger and has an idea. Since they didn't keep their words, I make them pay for it. And he takes his pies in his hand again and starts playing like this. This time, a different melody is played. Look, listen. He plays a very different melody. What happens in this time? This time, different people are affected by the music, not the rats. Who is affected? The children. Yeah, all of a sudden, all the children going to school, walking, playing at home, as soon as they hear the sound of the music, start to follow the piper as if hypnotized. They listen to the music, but have such a smile on their face. They are very happy, by the way. What do they hear in music? The piper takes them just like rats. So where? They go the same way and continue to walk away. But the piper doesn't take them to the river this time. He's not such a bad guy after all, but he's definitely a smart guy. He takes them to cave and the door of the cave you see behind me is opened. He puts all the kids in there. Of course, by the way, when the kids are walking down the street, their parents go crazy. Children just laugh and walk like this. Absolutely don't hear their parents. What happens next? Of course, everyone follows their children. They follow them and they come to the front of the cave. Piper, please give us back our children. Please give our children back. Of course, the Piper comes out. You didn't do what you promised. You didn't keep your word, so you deserve it. Of course, they are all very sad. The major comes. Piper, we are sorry. We are very sorry. We are so wrong. We have been greedy. Please give our children back. Here's a bag of gold. And all is yours. They give him a bag of gold. Of course, the Piper isn't a bad person. So he takes all the children out. And the children hug their parents. And finally, the Piper comes to them. Look. You saved the day today. If you continue to live like this, you will continue to pollute the city, throw garbage around, don't respect each other. In short, if you continue like this, neither you children nor you will have a good life in the future. So let this be a lesson to you. After today, keep the area clean, don't litter and take care of your city. And guys, everybody in town agrees with the Piper set and they take better care of their town from now on. And this town always shines brightly with its beauty. And the townspeople continue to live here happily with respect and tolerance for each other. Here we are at the end of this week's fairy tale. If you like it, please don't forget to subscribe. See you next week in a new fairy tale. Goodbye.